Hey guys, Austere August here with the Chiseled Face Scented Products Timeless Open Comb 68 Gap Stainless Steel Razor B35 Bore Brush from Zenith Nasset Blade on use number 526 it looks like Get the brush back in the little water cup there Just going to use the normal slurry lather method today and See what happens because the soap here chisel face midnight stag did I mention that um, is getting smaller and so let's see if a good solution to the ring of death because you have to increase your load time when you start getting it to look like this and so uh, could with the moisture that this method leaves in the soap could that be a good one when your soap is getting low That's what we're going to address today. So I'm going to cap it up after the shave, you know, that sort of thing. I'm going to shake the excess water out. And then let's do about eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do ten. Why not? Okay. And then we'll look at the razor blade. Got some water on my face already, so we're good as far as that goes. Just to show you, how hopefully you got to see the identifying marks. So actually, you know what, because this is just the first day, I am going to cap that up right now. Preserve some of that moisture for tomorrow, because maybe with the moisture that we leave behind, it could make it so that it's almost like loading from a normal soap, because the soap just gives up its top layers um, so readily. All right, not really going to use the bowl, just using it to kind of catch the water driplets. As usual with the slurry lather, I'm just going to start with the brush tips and I think with the recent experimentation that I've done with this technique and trying to bring a bowl into it that I'm and it makes sense now but I'm I'm, I'm putting some a thin layer of soap on my face right now and of course water is there too but that, that soap layer, and, and of course we're starting to build a little lather in the brush, but that soap layer doesn't need to be super thick to work. That's already an established fact, right? And so the fact that I'm shaving it, uh, the lather off, I still leave behind that soap. And so it just can, yeah, see that slickness, it's just there. And I bet when I... When I go to rinse, this will be more kind of luxurious and slick than the last couple days where I've used a bowl because the bowl takes the soap and spreads it through the water more evenly. And whereas this slurry lather method kind of puts it on my face right away. Use my tongue on the back of my cheek for those certain regions right next to my mouth to help give a little support. And so now let's get that splash of water. Yeah, see that's much nicer than before. And so now I'm contributing a little bit more soap to my face. And yeah, it is starting to circulate a little bit more to create that lather, but I guess maybe we're we've got that initial base of leaving that soap on behind on my face to where this all just keeps working. I'm just guessing at why the slickness is different between what I'm doing now and when I work the lather up just a little bit. Even if I use tons of water. Yeah. 
in the bowl, it still just doesn't quite have the same slickness unless I bring the lather, you know, to maturity. All right. Second pass. A little water. Oh yeah, and that's you could just feel that. That's so good. Just kind of luxurious. And now the brush is starting to resemble on the third pass here a more normal looking lather, but it's still very hydrated. You could definitely squeeze out a bunch of good stuff. Looks like I did not need to go two extra swirls, but that's okay because this is just proof that, uh, proving my point, even on this shave, that if you leave that residual moisture behind, um, even a little bit, then you get a nice, nice pickup and you don't even have to do some kind of maneuver where you scrape the soap into another container. You know, that was an easy load. And it feels great in my hands. I have, I do have a sense of luxury because my hands were able to work with my face during the passes and just feel that, kind of enjoy that. And then final rinse. Very nice. Brush after a good towel stropping there and he'll dry. The splash. So yeah, back to the old slurry lather benefits with that type of shave. It just didn't take very long to snap back into that kind of slickness that I uh, was surprised by and just continue to enjoy with that. Midnight Stag Cologne. And there we go. That's today's shave. So, uh, yeah, it really does look like if you get your soap down and you're at the end of it, then uh, the slurry lather method, if you find that it takes a while to load, um, you can just simply increase your load time, right? Um, but you can also use some kind of method that uses a really wet brush to load. And the slurry method is, is one of those. So that worked great. All right. Well, we'll see what we do tomorrow. Take care, guys. This is Sugar Day Shaves. Good night.